It's that time of year again. The time of year I wonder why I don't write more stuff down. Every year we learn more when we're starting our seeds, when we're planting things outside, and every year I kick myself for not writing down more stuff. But, you know, it just happens. Like, you're making a video, the kids need fed, the goats need fed, someone's in labor, there's a chicken eating stuff you just planted. Like, you just, you know, you can't keep track of it all. But today I am gonna try to tell you the things I do remember. And then you guys are gonna go to the comments and tell me the things I'm forgetting. Teamwork! I am gonna do potatoes first. I've got a homestead sampler here from Haas Tools. We were a little late getting our potatoes in the ground last year, so our harvest wasn't quite as big as it could have been. I do have some seed potatoes left over, but wanted a little more variety. We bought them late last year, probably because stuff was closed and shipping problems and all kinds of stuff. Remember last March? Oh boy. Um, but anyway, this year planned ahead. I ordered these back around Thanksgiving, knew they wouldn't get shipped until now, but I know we're good. I think we've got some Yukon Golds in here, some red skin potatoes, maybe some other stuff too. But what we're trying to do here is uh, get the roots on these guys really growing. These potatoes don't need a heat mat. They just need some light to really get those roots going so they take hold really fast once we get them in the ground. There we go. All right. Let's get these little guys out of here. Turn my taters like so. I think I could use an extra tray of these. Get a couple more potatoes in there. We have a lot of potato boxes out there. So, I want to get as many potatoes as possible. This past year, I canned a good amount of the potatoes, um, which made it really convenient to make soups and um, mashed potatoes when you don't feel like doing all that. All right, so these bad boys should be able to go outside into the potato box. Once the soil's about 40 degrees, so like four to six weeks before the last frost, I'm guessing like beginning of April. So I'm probably even a little early putting them under the lights, but at this point, I'd rather be ahead of schedule than last year when I was behind with the potatoes. If you were watching us last spring, you may remember that starting peppers from seed was kind of our nemesis. It's like kryptonite for life on Beagle Road, but I'm determined this year. Let me show you what I've done so far. I got my pepper seeds out in mid-February, put them down here on this heat mat, covered with one of these guys. My pepper seeds are in these bags with paper towels, keeping them moist. Let's see if anything germinated or if, again, I've been defeated by peppers. Oh, okay, this is, this is nerve wracking. This is like, am I learning or am I a continued failure? Sweet banana peppers. Nothing. Orange bell, not a darn thing. Small sweet orange peppers, nothing. Woo, woo. Sweet Orange Sun, random sale burpee seed I picked up at Lowe's last year, sprouted. This, folks, is why I'm not a seed snob. If it grows, it's for me. Okay, I'm gonna cover these babies back up, sit them over here. We're gonna get them in some soil. Let's check out these Sweet Red. Okay, these ones, these sweet reds, I'm not sure I'm actually seeing like little roots coming out, but they have opened up. You know what I mean? Like the hard case has opened up. So I'm gonna try to plant those. I'm optimistic. All right, these are the jalapenos. Really hopeful, these grew well for us last year and I love jalapenos. 
But wait, I don't think we started those jalapenos from seeds. I think those were starters we bought. <laughs> okay, jalapeno verdict is gonna be the same. Uh, I don't see roots yet, but case is opening. Do you like that I have to take off my glasses to look at the tiny seeds? Because my eyes have gotten so bad that I have different needs for different levels of distance. Distance, that's the word I'm looking for, but mm -hmm. signs of being old. Can't remember words, can't see. All right, this is trash, you're trash. Okay, last one to check here. Chinese giant red. I think this was from that same sale pile as the orange ones that grew. I do see a little mold here, so that's not great, but let's see what else is happening. Again, not necessarily roots, but looking promising. Get rid of this moldy one. Last year, I would say that I actually started my tomatoes too early, but I don't know. Like, it was a weird spring. We had snow and all sorts of craziness, so I was carrying just trays and trays of tomatoes in and out and in and out. One thing I know for sure is I started way too many tomato plants, like 144. It's pushing it. But now that it is first week of March, I'm going to start some tomatoes. I'm going to plant those peppers. I'm probably going to start some herbs too. Beans. See, this is what happens, guys. I'm like, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that, and that's it. But then I go down the rabbit hole. Come with me down the seed rabbit hole. Maybe it's just a seed hole. Seed hole. I don't know, guys. It's been a long week, okay? Uh, do I have anything down here to put my soil actually in? Hmm. Or do I just need to leave it in the bag maybe for now? I have really nice trays to do this over, but they're outside and they need washed. And I just need to get some seed started. So this will do. My whole family's upstairs as I'm down here yelling at myself and no one is paying any attention. Like I could be down here bleeding to death. Something I'm doing different this year, instead of starting like all of my tomatoes now and all of my peppers now, I'm trying to do things in stages. So instead of making this all tomatoes, I'm gonna make it a variety of different plants, but that was started on this date. I sent Kenny and Robbie for seed starting mix. This is not seed starting mix. It's potting mix. But we're gonna give it a shot. Now you guys are probably like, duh, of course you're not supposed to start all of your tomatoes at the exact same time. But sometimes it's hard, you know? It's hard to find time every week to do another tray. All right. I'm gonna fill up this water tray, let this soil get nice and damp, and then I will put my seeds in. I may not be a seed snob, but I am a gardening product snob, and these bootstrap farmer trays and seed starting things, what are these called? I don't know, cells, yes. This is where it's at. This tray has been soaking up water for about 15 minutes, so I'm gonna start by putting some of my Haas pepper seeds in here. I just sent Robbie out to the greenhouse to get me some plant labels because, you know, sometimes I forget what I plant otherwise. Playing in dirt, even in the basement, it's just, it's so therapeutic to me. Still getting some sunflowers this year because they're beautiful and we need pollinators. All right, I've got this tray all started. I'm gonna use this tray for my pepper seeds that are looking promising. I'm gonna start with these orange ones since they have actually sprouted. All right, let's see how many I have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now I'm gonna put all nine of those in the dirt because never once have I ended up with too many pepper plants. Know what I mean? All right, little guys, all my hopes and dreams 
right here. All the pepper seeds are in. This is a pretty reasonable amount of seeds to have started. I am happy with this. I'm gonna start a couple more trays, but not today. I'm gonna hold off. I'm gonna wait, I'm gonna space out my planting like a good gardener should. And you guys come back and keep me honest, okay?